jetliner disappeared over West Africa. The Air Algeri flight was carrying 116 passengers and it vanished about 50 minutes after it left Burkina Faso. Pilots had asked to change the route after reporting a storm in the area. General Motors is expected to pay between $400 and $600 million to the victims of its faulty ignition switch. The problem caused the cars to shut down while driving and it disabled safety features. Are you familiar with that saying, kids say the darndest things? Well, a four-year-old is getting punished for his naivete. Inside a Connecticut donut shop, the four-year-old asked a customer if she had a baby in her belly. The woman was not pregnant. And next day she was pregnant, and I asked her if she was pregnant. When they returned to the donut shop the next day, they weren't allowed back in, according to the mother, who said, quote, we were screamed at in front of the door. He's not allowed in here. He's rude. And it's finally here in all 50 shades of its glory. The official 50 Shades of Grey trailer was released today on the Today Show, and it looks like it met expectations. This is just an interview for the newspaper. I just have a couple of questions. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I am. Might be a little too racy to show in its full version. This new viral satirical video of Kim Jong-un is making the North Korean leader Cringe. He's trying to get China to stop distribution of the video that shows him dancing, running, getting poked by a rocket, and pranked by President Obama. Former Army Staff Sergeant Ryan Putz and the recent recipient of the Medal of Honor visited the New York Stock Exchange to ring the closing bell. Things didn't go quite as planned. Hopefully that wasn't a sentimental gavel much cooler today. There will be some possible isolated showers. The sun will peek through here and there with highs in the mid-70s. That's all for BBC Now. I'm Jenny Johnson. See you tomorrow.